J'ai mis du temps à te trouver Dans toi et moi c'est barré collé Donc laisse-moi chanter Devant papa et maman Devant ta famille et ma famille Devant tous nos amis Laisse-moi crier Devant monsieur le maire Devant nos amis Et même devant nos ennemis que Aujourd'hui c'est mon jour Vous avez parlé maintenant c'est mon tour Devant Dieu et les hommes Il a décidé de faire de moi sa femme Non pas dit qu'au gâté Depuis le ciel c'est scellé Il a dit c'est mon choix Je suis sa reine, il est mon roi Je veux t'aimer Je ne sais plus quoi dire pour t'exprimer mon amour. Je vais juste t'aimer, 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 t'aimer. Toujours mon bébé, oui, je vais t'aimer, 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 t'aimer. Toujours mon bébé. Aujourd'hui c'est mon jour. Je suis 
Holy Spirit. At the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, man will live with his father and mother and be united to his wife. And the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Unless the Lord builds the house, those that build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman labor in vain. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say unto you, rejoice. Commit your way to the Lord and trust Him, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Amen. We shall continue with the sermon hymn, 431. We just sing uh, one and two, so that the sermon will be used by the third verse. So sermon hymn 431 on your white sheet. Love divine, all love excel. Joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us thy humble dwelling. All thy faithful mercies come.
We thank you, especially at this time, for the institution of for the joy which these your servants have found in each other, and for the love and trust in which they have accepted to enter this Christian marriage. We thank you for their parents who gave them birth, and for family members and everyone by whose effort they have received their nature and support. Since without your help, we cannot do anything as we ought. We pray that as you have brought them together by your providence, you will grant them your grace also. That they may enter into the marriage covenant as in your sight and truly keep the vows they are going to make through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Shall we say the Lord's prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord, be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and thy will be done, and thy will be done, and thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And make us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory of God and Amen. Now we're going to uh, declare the purpose for us to be Brothers and sisters, we are gathered together here in the presence of God and in the presence of this congregation to witness the marriage of this man. Please, can we see it here? Please stand up. Thank <laughs> you. 
and seeking God's blessing for their union as a Christian marriage. I want to, I want to declare the, the legal, legal declaration. I require and charge you both, the two of you, in the presence of God and of this congregation, that if either of you know any impediments, one you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do not confess it. For you must be well assured that so many as are joined together otherwise than God's word allows are not joined together by God. Neither is their matrimony lawful in his sight. There's nothing going to be your marriage. And everything is as smooth as the Holy Spirit allows. Now, Mr.
of praises.
look at her eyeball to eyeball. Yes. Yeah. 
We just want to thank you, O oh Lord, for what we have observed today, what we have witnessed amongst the people. That our brother Emmanuel Ike and Savary Blair Ike have been joined together in marriage. Marriage is an institution that God you ordained. Today, O oh Lord, we seek them in the blood of Jesus. Any weapon of the enemy concerning them and their family, we cancel them in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, O oh Lord, that Father, you form a head of protection around them. They are going out and they are coming in. Bless them, O oh Lord. Bless their children, O oh Lord. Bless their entire family, O oh Lord. Bless whatever their hands touch in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord, that even as they journey through marriage, we would be no ups and downs ahead of them. But we pray in the name of Jesus that Father, they will not quit. Regardless of the issues that Father they face in marriage, we pray that Father, this marriage will be sustained. Amen. That Father, it will be preserved. Amen. People will look up to their own Lord and say, I want to be like an infant. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen.
Whatever the man called each living creature that was his name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib. He had taken out of the man and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called a woman, for she was taken out of the man. That is why a man leaves this, his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. Thank you.
one another out of reverence for Christ. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to thy sight, O Lord, my rock and redeemer. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We thank God and we are grateful that we have witnessed this trifle moment. And now that we have Mr. and Mrs. Eddie, right? There is something for, for, because of my time, I will use about two or three minutes. But there is something that I want to tell the couple and to all of us here present. Ephesians 5 21 says, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Which implies the submission that we are talking about is for both of you. You are to submit to one another and you are to love one another. The sad aspect is that some men have had church. The verse 22 of Ephesians chapter 5. Why? Submit to your what? Your husband. No. Before 21, there was, uh, before 22, there was what? 21. And 21 says, submit to what? To one another. Paul was what? Using the marriage relationship as that between the church and Christ. And since Christ is the head of the church, and we the church, we submit to what? To Christ. In the family, the husband is the head of the family. So the husband is likened to what? To Christ. And the way the church submits to Christ, has wives are also expected to what? Submit to the one who is the head of the family. In the similar way, verse 25, Paul said, the way Jesus loved the church to the extent of dying for the church, husbands are supposed to love their wives to the extent of dying for their wives. Amen. Therefore, those bully men who are bullies, if you want your husband to submit, you are also to love her by what? Dying for her. And I know Iman and Marie Claire, 20 years journey, we are more than, we have to come to you first marriage. So all what we are saying is that just let the family, the home, be as peaceful as they are. And with the help of God and the blessing of Christ, things will be okay. From the reading that was read to us by my nephew, the Genesis one, if God wanted the, the man, if God wanted man to trample over what? The, the, the female, he should have taken the, 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 the bone from what? From the feet. And if God wanted the woman to lord it over the man, he should have taken it from what? From the head. But in order that God wants the two of you to coexist as what companion, that's why he took it from the rib, the middle. You are his companion. And he, she has come to complement. So the two of you will be one, will be one and complete. That's why he said in verse 24 that for this reason, a man will leave his family. Not only the man will leave, the woman will also will leave her family. And by living one on one, they will come together. And with the help of God, the two shall be one. One plus one can only be one if the positive agent is God. Without God, one plus one can never be one. Therefore, if you want your marriage, if you want unity and 
who are just born naked and they can just. But what the scripture is, scripture is saying is that what happens between the couples must remain between the couples. We are closer to Las Vegas, right? What happens in Vegas? So what happens in the bed?
be upon you and upon your marriage. From today, you are man and wife, and therefore the blessings will come as a couple, and then you will live for each other. Thank you, man. thank God on your behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are also going to display the cell. Uh, if you also use cash out, you can also donate through those. Uh, uh, electronic platforms. All right. By singing hymn number three one three from the Methodist book. To God be the glory. That's what the MPs are saying. Yeah. To God.